Assalamu alaikum. Thank you for joining our live fundraising event today. You know, due to these unique times, Masjid as Sadiq will be trying to take a unique approach into our fundraiser. You, the community, has always been here for us at Masjid as Sadiq and for your community. And we like to thank you and we pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rewards you. Although today we are going to raise funds to pay back interest-free loans that we have received from the community. We also have some events here that will benefit you as a community. Today, you can come to the masjid and receive your flu shots for free, receive COVID-19 testing for free, and also get assistance with your census. In terms of food, what we have for a fundraising event, on our menu, we have roast beef or, ba or baked chicken with chow mein or fried rice, or Yemeni chicken over rice. And we also have your American burger with fries. We offer curbside pickup and delivery to limited areas for a fee. And once again, all proceeds go towards the repayment of interest-free loans on the acquired properties. Your kindness and your generosity has helped us in the past. And we appeal to you once again. First, to begin, I would like to highlight what we have on our, our program today. We will hear from our president, Brother Ayam Rahman, and we will give you a little bit of a behind the scenes of what's happening before the event. Normally, when we have a fundraising event at Masjid al-Sadiq, you're able to come and pick up your, your food and buy a few pastries, exchange a few words and leave. But you're never able to fully understand what goes on behind the scenes. All the brothers and sisters that are here preparing the night before, early in the morning after Fajr, and until late in the evening. So even though our programs may run from 11 to 4 or 12 to 4, there's a lot of work being done behind the scenes that you don't normally get to see. And unfortunately, but due to COVID, fortunately, today we're going to try to have you experience some of that. So you can see some of the behind the scenes work that you normally don't see. So to begin, I would like to play you a message by our president, Brother Ayam Rahman. You know, Brother Ayam Rahman has been with the masjid since he was a young boy. And today, he is the leader of the masjid. Here is a message from him. My beloved brothers and sisters, on behalf of the executive board, trustees, and everyone at Majid as -Sidi, I thank you for joining us this afternoon. All praises for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, for he has indeed blessed us with the life and opportunity to serve him. We also send salutations on our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, as he serves as the best example and guide for us all. We continue to be challenged by the pandemic. But Alhamdulillah, we have resumed some operation at the Masjid. We are praying Salat al Juma, Isha, Fajr, and inshallah, starting on Monday, Salat al Maghrib. Our Madrasa has resumed with online sessions, and our Quran classes has resumed with hybrid learning. I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protects, guides, and help us all through these challenging times. This is the 31st year that Masjid al Sidi is officially operating. Today, we are asking for your help to continue the growth of Masjid al Sidi. At the beginning, we started by praying in donated spaces, private homes, and basements. Purchasing the property on 133rd Street established a more permanent house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives and blesses our founders and everyone that has contributed to the work for all of these years. I have been fortunate to be part of the history of Masjid as sadiq since I was a young boy and wanted to share some of my perspective with you. My parents would help at Masjid as sadiq and other masajid and encourage my brother and I to be active in establishing Islamic institutions that would serve youth and future generations to come. I remember helping to repair those modest places, the basement on Lakewood Avenue, and then eventually the small house that stood here where the masjid is currently built. 
The house was used as a prayer space and community facility for many years. We used the vacant space next to the house for various activities and for the eaves. As life progressed, my eldest son, as a toddler, would run and play in that same small structure here on 133rd Street as we came to pray. Finally, in April 2004, we began construction of the building that we currently see standing before us with Allah's permission, assistance, and blessings. Alhamdulillah. Over these 31 years, we have been blessed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with a caring and supportive community. Through you all, he has enabled this community to establish his house as a warm and welcoming space, a place of worship, but also a place of education, a place of community service, and a place for charity. Last year, the executive board and trustees of Masjid As-Siddiq took the bold step to invest in our future as a community. Allah's Messenger, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, advised us, he whose two days are equal is a loser, clearly telling us that we need to be better tomorrow and the day after that so that we continue to progress as a person, as an individual, as a family, as a community. At Masjid as siddiq we took this step to invest by Allah's permission to continue the growth in the services and activities for the community. For the time being, we have rented these properties to deserving and hardworking families. They attend the Masjid and will provide income that funds current activities and also savings for the future. What does the future hold, you ask? Well, only Allah knows for sure. What we do know is that our youth need a safe and collaborative place to learn, grow, and become strong Muslims and good human beings. Our masjid needs parking facilities and facilities for final rights for those that have returned to Allah. Help us by making a donation today for our future. We need $25,000 to be paid by December 31st. We look forward to your support and assistance as we work together today to reap rewards from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that will help those that come tomorrow. Your donation and contribution towards the masjid expenses, upkeep, and loan repayment are greatly appreciated. Make a contribution at our website, go.asadiq.org slash fundraiser. Please make a contribution today. We thank you for your support for over 30 years and pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our charity, our prayers, and our dua, and that he blesses those that comes after us to continue the work in his path. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. As Brother Ayam mentioned, the organization, the masjid has been in operation for over 31 years, or this year is 31 years. Um, and, you know, and a fun fact, actually, uh, my grandfather was a founded member of the masjid. And I remember some of my first memory, some so, similar to Brother I am, when I first came to the United States from Guyana, where I, the, the first weekend I ever spent in the United States of America was at Masjid as siddiq And from that point on, countless weekends and, and, and days and evenings was spent at Masjid as siddiq And so this is home just as if it's a, it's a home for you, the community, for you, the member, for the brothers and sisters and the boys and the girls, it's a home for us too here uh, on the executive board and the volunteers. We are just not here as people who come and use the facility. We've been people who not only benefited from the community, uh, from the facility, from the masjid growing up, but also now taking on leadership roles and helping to shape the future of the masjid. And this is where you as an individual, you as a, as a community are going to help shape that future for your kids, for the future of the, the masjid. Brother Aya mentioned the, the URL to go to, the website. It's go.asadiq.org slash fundraiser to donate. Also, you can go to that, that website, go.assidiq.org slash fundraiser to also place your order. So you can place your order and you would be able to receive uh, a time frame that you can pick up your order. So we're trying to also improve in that process. You know, Alhamdulillah, so far, we have raised over $10,000. Uh, the actual number that we have right now, the exact number as of this point in time is 
874. And as of uh, an hour ago, when I last checked, we have uh, we have been we have served 450 meals. Alhamdulillah. Uh, we would like to pray that Allah rewards everyone and reward those brothers and sisters that have donated and purchased food. Um, so I would like to now pivot to showing you a little bit of what's happening behind the scenes. This is not uh, live, but it's what, what was happening earlier in the day. And we'll kind of commentary on it as we're going through it. Uh, but you will be able to see some of the pictures of the brothers and sisters preparing in the morning. And once again, I would like to remind you that today at the masjid, you can come and get assistance filling out your census. You can receive your flu shot for free and you can also get COVID-19 testing. So some of the images that we're going to see, for example, right here is due to COVID, we're not able to have you come into the masjid and pick up your food. So the brothers and sisters have set up some tents outside where you can come and pick up your food right up the curb, maybe, maybe not even get out of your car. And here are some of the brothers and sisters, and some of these faces may be familiar to you and familiar to me, where these are the brothers and sisters that have been coming up after Fajr in the morning and preparing food, whether it's cutting up onions and, and preparing the place and cleaning. These are some of the images that you normally don't see. And Alhamdulillah, today you're, you're able to see some of these uh, images. Um, and some of the images you're seeing right now, for example, the one that's on screen right now, are people coming in and picking up their food. As in also, and also, as you can see, there is uh, the census table set up right at the front there. So you're able to come and get assistance with your, your census. I think, you know, Masjid as siddiq tries to live up to the, the wider image that we, we try to portray. And that is, everyone knows Masjid as siddiq and everyone knows the name as siddiq Muslim Organization. And from a young boy, I always remember that what does Islamic organization mean? And I always think, in my opinion, that the organization part of it was very big. Our founders, the founding brothers, saw that this building, this facility, this organization will be more than just a masjid. It will be more than just a masala. It will be more than just a place that you come and you pray and you donate your zakah and we help a few people. They saw it as, as something bigger, a place where you can come to to gather and meet the place where you can come and your children can learn you know we have our madrasa that goes on on saturdays and our quran classes that goes on uh during the week and we also have events where we give back to the community and the community by definition it, for masjid as siddiq is very wide ranging it is the community in terms of down the block from us where we go and we visit our neighbors and and greet them and it also goes to the wider world globally in terms of the community where we've donated, we've, with your assistant, with Allah's help and your assistant, we have uh, sent containers to Yemen, to, uh, um, to various parts of the world. We've also created wells in, in Africa, in, in various countries in Africa, we've created wells that, that give back to the community. And these wells are, 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 are also not only a simple well, but they're a well that where the community is taught how to service it, how to fix it. And if they have excess, they're also taught how to then use that to stimulate a local economy. Um, with all those said, what I would like to, during the month of Ramadan, when we are here at the masjid, when we come to the masjid, we normally play you a video showing you what we've been doing, what the masjid has done over the last 12 months. And unfortunately, we weren't able to do that this year. So what we've done, we've took, we've created the same video and we're gonna show you that today here. It's gonna be a video that, that's highlighted over the last few months, what the masjid have been doing. And with your assistant, with your help, what the masjid has been doing. And before we show that video, I'd like to highlight a very important point, a very important part and aspect of our fundraising event. The masjid, the building, this community, none of this is possible without your assistance, without your help and without the blessings of Allah. Ultimately, Allah is the one that allows us to do this. And 
Allah has allowed, has, has blessed you with a little bit of wealth where you can give back and you can help. And you've decided to give it back to the masjid. And the donations you give today is not a donation that you're going to see today. We all know that when we give to the masjid and we donate to the masjid, that anytime someone benefits from it, it's sadaqal jariyah for us. And you have, you as a community have so much faith in us and so much faith in, 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 your, in your Lord that you give blindly knowing that you are not going to directly benefit, benefit from it here in this world. For example, when you donate to the masjid and, the, and someone comes and pray in the masjid or benefit from the masjid or learn something in the, in the madrasa, that you are going to benefit, benefit from it in the hereafter, in a life that you're not going to see today. But you also understand that when you do that, it may also benefit the brothers and sisters that you have, met, that you have not met yet. The young babies that you've never met yet. The young Aisha and Sarah and um, Ahmed that you haven't met yet, but they are going to benefit from it. They are going to come and play basketball in the backyard one day and benefit from your donation. They, the brothers and sisters, are going to be able to come and engage in physical activity sometime in the future because of your benefit. You know, like I mentioned, they, uh, they're going to be benefiting you and benefiting the future that you haven't met yet. And may Allah reward you all for this. So now we would like to play the video that we normally put together during the month of Ramadan, showing you what we've done in the last few months uh, with your help, with your donations, inshallah.
So, so some of those items that some of the programs that we just saw happened in the last uh, 12 months and some of them are also a little bit longer than that. But looking at them, um, you know, it's sort of, it, it kind of makes me a bit sad that there's so much because of this pandemic that we are missing out on where we're not able to spend time together. We're not able to come to the masjid. You know, I saw the video of the young brothers playing basketball in the backyard and even that they're not able to do. But while that is in the forefront of our mind, you know, Masjid as Sadiq has been thinking about the future. And that is the reason why we have purchased these two properties because we know that we're not just focusing on today, we're focusing on what the future holds, not for myself and not for Brother I am, but for our kids and our kids' kids, our children's children. And speaking about the Ahmed and the Sarah and the Isa, you know, the ones that we don't know yet, this is what this is for. And we're thinking about different ways to try to donate. So Masjid as Sadiq has made it easy. We have a few options. One option is going to go.assadiq.org slash fundraiser, and you can donate there. You can also donate right from your phone. Just text the word Asadiq Takeout to 44321. That's Asadiq Takeout to 44321. And you can make your donations right from your cell phones. I wish we had a special banner that we can put either down here or below here that says breaking news you know, sort of like CNN or Fox News, if you watch Fox News, where we have this breaking news and we want to tell you about it. And that breaking news is right now for the next 30 minutes, we have a matching drive that's been set up. We have a few brothers that's, that's going to match up to $750 in donations. So currently we're looking at 10,874. So if we get donations that up to in the next 30 minutes that brings us to $750 our brothers will then match that $750 so we're, we're going to ultimately double our money and the other thing I want to highlight is when you go to go.assadiq.org slash fundraiser the there is a where you as an individual can create your own individual campaign and we sort of have a little bit of a competition going right now uh, we have some of the brothers uh, and sisters who's created their individual campaign. And, um, you know, I would normally not try to call their name out, but it's listed on the website. So I'll go ahead and say it. But we have Amira Razak that has raised over $1,300. And uh, Sister Narissa that has raised over $1,000. And Sister Naz uh, has raised over $700. And Brother Ikwaz and Brother Nasib uh, has raised over $300. May, may Allah reward them for doing that part. And also may re Allah reward the brothers and sisters that has donated towards their campaign. And if you would like to start your own campaign, you go to go.assadiq.org slash fundraiser, and you can create your own uh, fundraising campaign right there. Um, so once again, um, you know, we have so far raised over $10,000 and um, we have, uh, sold over 450 meals so far alhamdulillah uh, you know that's a lot i don't think even some businesses some restaurants are 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 able to handle some of that flow in such a short period of time but so allah, may allah reward the brothers and sisters that are involved um speaking about our future plans and what we would like to do and the reason why we purchased these properties before masjid as sadiq did this they decided that we needed to figure out if this was the right step to take, if this was the best step to take. And if it's not, what's the next best thing? So Alhamdulillah, we put together a committee of brothers and sisters who were, this is their field. These are the things that they are um, well versed in. And they, the committee came together and decided that if we were able to do this and how we would be able to, to do this. One of the brothers in that committee is also on our board. He is our assistant treasurer. Uh, Brother Iqbal Sattar, and with his, him and, and the team, they went through the numbers and decided that how, if we were able to do this, and how we were going to be able to do this, and they came up with a plan. And I would like to have that Brother Iqbal 
kind of share some of that vision, some of the insight behind of, behind of why we decided to go after purchasing these two properties and some of the vision uh, of where we're looking to go with it. And, and, and um, he had spoken about this in the past, uh, but now that we actually have made that commitment, you know, we have a fresh take, a fresh view on it. So Brother Iqbal Sattar will, will give us a little bit of highlight here. Brother Iqbal Sattar has uh, been part of our executive board for, I, I want to believe, over two years now. Um, and he has been uh, leading a lot of our financial initiatives. Uh, as professionally, this is what he does for a living. He is in the finance industry. So inshallah, we'll now hear from Brother Iqbal. Brother Iqbal is getting ready right now. Um, and in a few seconds, we will hear from him, inshallah. Brother Iqbal. I'm joining you live from inside our beautiful, beautiful masjid. So unfortunately, I have to wear this mask. I want to take a few minutes to discuss with you our vision. In our personal lives, we focus a lot on reducing our expenses and maximizing our returns. Similarly, when you give donations, it's paused. Are we live now? Yeah. Okay. Can you hear us? We're good? Yeah. Okay. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Apologies, we had some technical difficulties on our end. So I had started explaining that in our personal lives, we focus on reducing our expenses and maximizing our returns. Similarly, when we give donations, it is an investment in the Akhira. So when you donate, there are at least two things some of you would want to think about. What is your donation going to be used for? And how do you get the maximum rewards for those donations? There is a famous maxim that every action is rewarded based on the intention. As one of my teachers used to advise us, before you, make these, before you make these decisions, focus on what the intentions are. So we want to clarify our intentions and we're going to speak about the vision. Number one, we want to make the masjid less reliant on donations. And rental income is one such source that can help. Number two, we want to be able to provide uh, homes for families that want to be close to the masjid. If we can surround the masjid with homes that, of Muslims, we can have that security buffer to help protect our mosque. Longer term, we do want to be able to provide more parking. We see during Jummah and during Ramadan how difficult it is to get parking as you come to visit our mosque. So longer term plan for us is we do want to be able to provide more parking. Also very important for us is we want to be able to provide safe recreational spaces for Muslims, youths, and seniors. Alhamdulillah, we have made progress on the first two goals. As Brother Safraz showed earlier, we were able to purchase two properties and both properties are now rented by very happy and satisfied Muslim families. In order to achieve the longer term goals, however, we need to show you the donors that this organization can efficiently manage properties. We have a track record for the masjid and we have a good start with these two properties. Inshallah, by next Ramadan, we're gonna have a much longer track record that we can point to. What have we done in terms of savings? Thanks to the donations and supplies and, and hard labor by many of the brothers, 
we were able to save at least $14,000 in renovation of those properties. Also, we were able to get deferred payment plans from the contractors. These are very important things for us. We need to keep our costs under control. The loans that are due, we were able to negotiate with a seller to get a deferred payment plan where we do not have to find the entire amount at the, uh, at the closing. The immediate need, as Brother Safra has alluded to earlier, is we have to get $75,000 by the end of the year. So we're appealing to you to please donate today so we can make this payment. What is the outlook? While we cannot predict the future, we can say that the rental income has been consistent and the major renovations for the two properties were completed. At this point, the outlook is, I would say, very positive. However, due to the pandemic, there could be some headwinds in the future. So we need to be conservative in our estimates. I wanna spend a few minutes talking about our fourth and fifth goal that I mentioned earlier. Acquiring par par properties does allow us to provide more parking in the future, which is great, but providing that safe and recreational space for our youths and our seniors is something that the board feels strongly about. There are multiple things that we need to achieve as a community. The earlier generation built mosques, alhamdulillah. We're, we're privileged to be able to sit in a beautiful mosque, but the needs have changed over the years. How do we attract this younger generation to the masjid? that is constantly, constantly bombarded by distractions. If you look around and look at the percentage of young Muslims that come to our mosque often, you will see that it's a very small percent. So we need to do a much better job of bringing them to the masjid and closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We need to provide a space where young Muslims can come together, discuss colleges, careers, give suggestions to high school students, what subjects, what subjects to take, how they can chart a successful path through college, how do they get a great job after college? Basically, we need to build a strong network that can help this community and Muslims as a whole. In other words, the way we look at this is we should be able to build a living, breathing, in-person Muslim version of LinkedIn. If we can do that and we can provide that space to the, the young Muslims, we, can be, we will be able to achieve a whole lot and save many generations. Now, I would like you to think about some of the mosques in Long Island and in Texas. Mosques that were very successful in acquiring these properties and surrounding their mosques. Mosques like Masjid Hamza and, Ma and Masjid in Westbury, Long Island. They were able to achieve and purchase these properties. Our community, our community can definitely do that, but we need your help to be able to realize these goals. One of our founding members always dreamt about having a funeral home. This was something that was always his dream. It is a big challenge. How do you go from owning and purchasing a masjid to managing a funeral home? Very different. Paying off these loans for the two properties that we acquired is an extremely important and big step to, towards achieving that goal. I hope that you've agreed that you agree with the vision that we've tried to lay out for the Safras and myself and brother I am earlier and that you will donate today. If you have any questions, please reach out to Brother Safraz or the board members. And very important, we ask that you make the walls for this community. We ask that you make the walls for our, our board and the masjid, and that we will be able to succeed and achieve all these goals that we've laid out. We understand that these are challenging and big goals, but our community has changed. The Caribbean community has changed over the, over the years. We need to be able to think bigger. We need to be able to provide more opportunities to the young Muslims. We've done a great job over the last year and a half with senior programs at Masjid al-Sadiq. It's now time for us to pivot and focus more on the, on, the, on the youths and make sure that they have everything that they need to be able to succeed, not just Islamically, but in terms of jobs, in terms of careers. We feel strongly in this and we hope that by paying off these loans, we can get back to focusing on all the other long-term goals that I've mentioned earlier. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you very much for joining us today. May Allah reward you immensely. Amin. We'll take you back now to Brother Safraz. I mean, shukran, um, Brother Iqbal Sitar. And you know, similarly, like Brother Iqbal is trying to 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 paint that picture for us. Um, <clears throat> you know. 
that, that imagery that we sh should try to think of is and ask ourselves the question is, you know, how does this benefit us? How does this benefit the community? How do these two properties benefit the community? You know, and anyone who are who thinks about investment or in terms of stocks and and the stock market, you think about not just investing in something that you will eventually have increase in value, but also will pay you dividends throughout years. So using these properties as, as that same investment, those, in, those dividends are, are things that we don't necessarily count in monetary value. Investments in things like you know, bringing the families close to the masjid, bringing Muslim families close to the masjid. Also having a neighbor that views the masjid, not as a building that is an eyesore that takes up parking 29 or 30 days of the uh, month of the year, but a place where it's a place of community. It's a place where we give, we come to spend time with family and friends. And we have this vision at Masjid as Sadiq of what we would like to do, what we would like to accomplish, what the community will benefit from. On the screen right now, we see a image of a masjid right here in Long Island, in New York City, in, uh, in Valley Stream, Masjid Hamza. And right now it looks like one big property, but it, that didn't occur overnight. It was throughout years that it took for them to purchase properties around the masjid. So now they no longer have any issue with parking. They have a parking lot, they have a big facility. And what the picture can't paint for you right now is, around this community, around this masjid are Muslims that are able to just walk right to the masjid. The next image we're going to show is another masjid right here in New York. This masjid is the Islamic center of Long Island and they're in Westbury. And same similar situation here. This masjid started out as a single building, a single property, and eventually they were able to purchase other property. Anywhere in this image that we are looking at right now that you don't have a fence, separating the masjid is either owned by the masjid or Muslims. So just imagine you waking up in the morning, hearing the adhan calling, and then being able to walk to the masjid. Well, I'll show you a little bit of that also. The next image that we're showing, we're gonna show you here, this is in Valley Ranch in Irving, Texas. This is a, a, a masjid that, is, that has thought about the future. This is a community that's thought about the future. What you're looking at is a masjid, a community center, basketball courts, football uh, uh, space to play football and soccer and an and ample parking. Um, uh, one of the, 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 one of the well-known brothers that attend this masjid is actually brother um, uh, Imam Omar Sulaiman. The next image that we're going to show you here is this is the parking lot. And this is a very wide angle image that was actually taken by me of the parking lot. And what you're seeing here in the center of your image is the masjid is the community center and to the left and to the right and are surrounding the masjid are homes that are owned by the muslims the next image that we're going to see here is also another image of of the the masjid but just showing you how big that space is how much parking is available where we don't have to bother our neighbors but what's important about the neighbors is this next image who are the neighbors the neighbors are muslims the entire community are muslims and so this whole community has been uh, created in a way that it benefits from the Muslims. So let's look at the next image here. Um, it looks like the image, okay. So what we're looking at here is, an, is a pathway that takes you as someone living from the mus around the masjid right into the parking lot of the masjid, right into the masjid. So when we're thinking about the future, when we're thinking about what is Masjid as Sadiq thinking about? What is the vision? These are some of the things that we were thinking about. These are some of the examples, the real world examples of brothers and sisters, just like you and I, that had a vision of what we wanted the masjid to be, what we wanted our community to be. And here it is right here. These are some of the images we, we wanted to show you. So as we're painting a picture of what we, we, we would like to see in the future, this is what we're looking to see. Um, I wanna remind you that we also have a matching fund going on right now. You know. Uh, we have a, a few brothers that have come together and they're going to match up to $750 for the next 30 minutes. We're down to only a few more minutes left here. I think we have about five minutes left. So, you know, we, we, we urge you, please donate. Please come and buy 
uh, some food. We, I know we have some really delicious food here today. And once again, um, we have multiple ways of donating. Go to go.asadiq.org slash fundraising or text the word Asadiq takeout, A-S-S-I-D-D-I-Q takeout to the number 44321. And you can donate right from your phone. Um, not only are we doing this fundraising event, but we've also arranged with a few uh, or, uh, companies and the community leaders to help you out today. So if you need help filling out your census, come to Masjid As-Sadiq. We'll help you out there. We have members of the community that will be able to help you fill out your census. Are you thinking about getting your flu shots? You haven't gotten your flu shots? Well, bring your insurance card and come over and get your flu shots. You will, you will get your flu shots for free. Also, if you're thinking about having uh, doing your COVID-19 testing, also free, also at the masjid today. So stop by. We're trying to be your one-stop shop for everything today. We have some tasty foods some tasty pastries. We also have your COVID testing and your flu shots and also getting you help with your census. And this goes back to what Masjid As-Siddiq ultimately tries to do. We want to be a place where you come to get help, a place where you come to get anything that the Masjid can help you with. We want to be that, th that place for you. And the only way we're able to do that is by your donations, is by you giving your money to the Masjid so that we can then invest it in our community, into giving back to the community, giving back to you. Um, one of the things I, I, I would like to talk about is, um, well, first, we just got an updated number. We are now up to $14,560. So may Allah reward those brothers and sisters that have donated and matched our fund. We now have an additional $750 that will be added to that $14,560. May Allah reward these brothers and sisters. Say Amin, Amin. May Allah reward them. And this just in, we also just have another matching that was uh, announced. We have a uh, matching of $500, so not 750. So I think we'll be able to do this. We have a matching of $500. So in the next 30 minutes, if we are able to get $500, we have some brothers and sisters that will match at $500. So that $500 will now become $1,000 for the masjid. This is, this is great. Uh, this is exciting stuff. Um, I, you know, I kind of wanted to talk a little bit about the history of Masjid As-Siddiq. You know, as Brother Ayam mentioned, 31 years we have been uh, in operations. So the Masjid has been, uh, been a place where you can come for Salah and a place where you can come to break your fast and a place where you can come and, and perform your ibadah. Now, Masjid As-Siddiq is thinking about the future. So if you think about, you know, maybe watching a movie or reading a, a book, there's usually three parts is breaking, broken down into. The beginning, the, the middle, and the end. So using those same imagery, that analogy I would like to make is the beginning was the days that even I could vaguely remember and days that I wasn't, I didn't even, I wasn't even born as yet. And these are the days where the founding members came together and decided that there was a need for a community center. There was a need for a masjid. There was a need for a place where people can come, brothers and sisters can come and pray. And the founding members decided to create Masjid As-Sadiq. And initially they started out by praying in their homes, praying in each other's homes. And, you know, today I'm able to stand here and speak to you through a computer, through a webcam. And I don't have to be in front of you. And we're able to, to raise some funds. You're able to donate to us through your phones from wherever you are right now. You can be sitting on your couch at home. You can be running some errands on Liberty Avenue right now. And you can still donate to us. These brothers and sisters, when they started the organization, they were going door to door. They were ringing doorbells. They were working jobs that they were working 60 to 80 hours a week. And on top of that, they were coming to the masjid and raising funds and, and doing things physically, labor. And this is the, the, the founding members. They physically work with their hands to build the organization. A few years later, the masjid will then move to a basement where they spent a few years. 
And that's the basement that I grew up in. That's the basement that I remember when I was a little boy at seven and eight years old. And later on, the masjid will then purchase the property that the current masjid is sitting on. And it was a home and it was a house. And there's a lot of memories there. There's, there's the brothers who help physically put together tents when it was time for Eid Salah throughout the year. Um, and also help and take the building apart. Literally with their physical, physical labor, they've donated to the masjid. And then the brothers came back and brothers and sisters came back and helped build the masjid, help pour the concrete, help put that steel together and help build the masjid that we see today. And these same brothers and sisters that, were, that helped with their hands and their physical, physical labor, they then decided they were going to give their money, their, their hard earned money to then purchase these properties. And these are you, these are the, the brothers and sisters that allowed us to be where we are today. So now we were in the beginning of the book where we talked about our founding members. We came to where we are today where we have this beautiful masjid in front of us. And we're now at the cusp of what the future will be and wh what that future will look like. What will these two properties allow us to do? Um, we, Brother Iqbal mentioned some of the ideas. I showed you some of those pictures and painted some of the imagery of what the future will be. You are able to, to form that future. You are able to become that visionary. You are able to make the community better than what you found it in. And, uh, and inshallah, we hope that with Allah's blessing, we're able to do that. And we, we pray that all everything that you've done, all of your donation and your intentions, we hope that ultimately you will be rewarded with Jannah. I mean, um, now uh, I would like to um, also mention to you that we have a new matching fund that just started, $500 for the next 30 minutes. So if we can get $500, it would automatically be double to $1,000. So let's try to push ahead and do that. Another reminder is you go to go.astadik.org slash uh, fundraiser, and you would be able to create your own fund where you can send a link to your family and friends, and they would be able to donate towards yours. I think uh, right now, our top donors, um, I'm trying to pull it up, uh, are... Sister Amira, who's raised over $1,300, and Sister Narisa, who's raised over $1,000, followed by Sister Naz, over $700. And it looks like Brother Naseeb has taken a little bit of a lead here. Um, he has raised over $400. When we last checked about 30 minutes ago, he, had, he was up to $300. And then we have uh, Brother Iqwaz, who has raised over $600. May Allah reward those who have donated and reward these brothers and sisters for driving this campaign. Just to give you an update, we're, we have currently raised $14,660. So we are a bit over halfway towards our goal. So may Allah reward you. May Allah reward all the brothers and sisters that has allowed us to get to this point here. Um, so next up in our fundraiser, um, we would like to show you um, some of the, the videos of the brothers and sisters that have um, been part of the organization and helped set up. And, and we decided to take some time this morning to speak to them and get their feedback on what they thought about our, our um, fundraising event, about the organization, uh, about what they feel this masjid has done for the community. So we'll have some live, some testimonial videos, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. I'm here at. Okay, brother Nizam. Assalamu alaikum. I'm here at Masjid al Sadiq with uh, brother Salim. Uh, he needs no introduction. Uh, brother Salim, I have a couple of questions to ask you about today. Uh, why is it that you are passionate about Masjid al Sadiq? Why, why is it that you you like uh, helping out at the Masjid so much? Look at my beard. <laughs> it's great. I'm here all my life. And I see very great things about Masjid Siddiq, and that is why I'm so passionate about working with people in Masjid Siddiq. Young, hard-working group of people. Uh, where do you see the Masjid going in the future? Alhamdulillah, with the youth that surround us, I see many, many things in our future. 
I see a growing neighborhood in owning properties, youth get involved in growing this masjid to take it to the next level, to the next generation, for the new coming generation that will run this organization in the most positive way. Assalamu alaikum. Okay, Brother Nizam, uh, can you tell us a little bit about the fundraiser today? Okay, Brother Nizam, uh, can you tell us a little bit about the fundraiser today and what it is going towards? Assalamu alaikum. Today, our fundraiser is to bring funds into the masajid because of the COVID. We're not getting the town out, we're not getting the donations. So, we're reaching out to you guys today to come support our food sale so we can continue paying for the, the, um, Owe, uh, the loan that we owe on the houses and the continuous uh, expense on the massage. We appreciate that. Please turn up. All right, I'm here at Masjid As Sadiq's fundraising takeout dinner with the president, Brother Ayam. Brother Ayam, Assalamu Alaikum. Wa Alaikum Assalam. So I just have a couple of questions to ask you. Um, first thing, uh, we're here at the fundraiser. Why are you passionate about Masjid As Sadiq and the things that they do? Alhamdulillah, Ya Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala bless uh, Masjid As Sadiq. I want to start by just uh, saying assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh to all of you out there. Uh, it's a beautiful day and we're really um, excited to, uh, to be out here today, uh, you know, having a food sale, uh, lots of delicious uh, options on the menu, and then we also have uh, opportunities for people and like you to donate uh, to, uh, to the cause. We're trying to raise $25,000 today. Now, why am I passionate about Majid Asadi? Here at Masjid al Sadiq, alhamdulillah, we're really blessed uh, by, uh, from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by first and foremost having a place to pray on a masjid by which we have uh, regular uh, uh, prayers, uh, the daily prayers, the Salat al Jummah. We have educational activities for children and for adults. We have so many things uh, for youth and for our seniors. We also do a lot of things uh, for charitable causes, right? Whether it's natural disasters or uh, human uh, challenge, tragedies like war and so on and so forth. So we're, we're involved in so many different things from that uh, perspective. Last but not least, we, also from a charitable perspective, we have our zakat program. So these are all things that are happening at the masjid that draws me personally to the masjid. Now, in addition to that, it's also the people. Um, I've been able and been fortunate to have uh, so many met so many great people. It's a warm and welcoming environment here. So those are a couple of the reasons why I really like Masjid uh, Asli throughout the year, but uh, especially during uh, times like this, as we uh, as we work together to help provide services for the community. May Allah Subhanahu wa Taala always bless and guide those of the administration for Masjid Asli and, and bless bless the Masjid. Amin. Amin. So, Sister Narissa, what are you most passionate about here at Masjid al Sadiq? I'm passionate about giving back to the community. We do a lot of community work and bringing the youth involved. We have a lot of programs for the youth to get them involved. All right, so I'm here at Masjid al Sadiq's fundraising dinner with Brother Nasib. Uh, Brother Nasib, yes. what do you like or love most about this organization? So, uh, first, assalamu alaikum. Uh, one of the things I love the most about this organization is the opportunities that it has for the youth. Um, the, you, always when you come here, you'll see a lot of youth either leading salah, volunteering, sometimes even in leadership positions. So one of the things I love the most is the opportunities that are here for the youth. So Brother Zafir, uh, what is this fundraiser today for and how will our donations help? What are our, our donations going towards? Assalamu alaikum. The funds collected today for the fundraiser will be towards repayment, towards interest-free loans that we had for the two properties acquired by the masjid, the one across the street and the one to the side of the masjid. So, Assalamu alaikum. I'm here at Masjid as So we just uh, um, saw some videos uh, with uh, some of the brothers and sisters who were organizing and who've been volunteering at the masjid for a very long time now and, and you know, got sort of a heart to heart to them about what, how, what they felt about the masjid. Uh, quick side note there, Sister Nerissa that we heard in the video is also Sister Nerissa that is leading number two in our uh, donation drive, uh, our, our campaign on our Go Lively page, which is where we're accepting donations. So just a quick reminder, 
If you would like to donate, you, we have multiple ways of donating. You can go to go.asadiq.org slash fundraising, uh, fundraiser, go.asadiq.org slash fundraiser and, and donate there. You can also order your food there and pick up uh, curbside. Additionally, you can, go, you can send a text message with the word Asadiq takeout to the number 44321 and place an order and uh, not, not place an order, but do a uh, donation right from your phone, from your mobile devices. Um, we got a little bit of the event prior to setting up. We got a little bit of testimonials of the brothers and sisters who are working on it. How about we go live? How about we kind of check out what's happening right now? So I'm going to ask Brother Naseeb to join us. Assalamu alaikum, Brother Naseeb. Wa alaikum assalam, how are you? So, brother, Alhamdulillah, um, brother Naseeb is going to be giving us a little bit of a tour of the the live action as as it's happening right now. He's actually in the masjid, walking around, and he's going to show us of what's going on right now. So, if you've just placed an order and you'd like to know where your order is, we can we can check it out right now. We can see where your order is right yeah. now. So, this is behind the scenes. So, by the way. Brother Naseeb is also What's going, going to the dead spot of the masjid, so he probably dropped for a second there. But so here we are in the basement. As you see, we have food, we have Balatif, Brother Dean, some of the volunteers here. We have our food. Brother Ayam, we're live. Place well, I am. So I like um, yeah, Brother Iqbal over there. It's a lot going on. Nice. So, so Brother Iqbal, you see him again. So we're live. You see, we have some food over here. We have some other food stuff. It's a lot going on. Um, I don't think anyone wants to stop the talk, so we're gonna we're gonna move outside. We're gonna yeah, see what's yeah. going on out here. So brother Nasib is going from inside the building to outside the building. At which point he may be dropping because he's going from Wi-Fi to cellular network. So that's what we're seeing right now. You know, he just went through the building, and you're getting to see some of the behind the scenes, the preparation okay. that's happening. So here it is. He's going through the sideway, the driveway, going towards the front. Where where you would be coming to pick up your food or getting your flu shot? So as we see over here, there's some drinks. This is close, so I'm not going to show you. But we have a lot of volunteers outside. This is where you pick up your food. Over here is the food. We have Sister Narissa here again, one of our top donors, uh, fundraisers. Um, you have some people lined up because we have curbside pickup. One of our volunteers over there. This is Brother Arif. Brother Arif, we're live on Facebook, YouTube. Brother Arif, all like him. Assalamu alaikum, brother Safras. How are you? Wa alaikum salam, brother Arif. It's good to see. It's good to see that you're um you're still in New York. Yeah, I'm, I, you know, I'm here. <laughs> they need to fix the clock in the masjid. It's been stuck at that time for a while already. Mashallah. <laughs> well, we're gonna keep moving around as we see. Uh, let me just flip around. We have some of our volunteers here. This is where you put your money. Uh, we have some Mavi. If you guys want some Mavi, just come pick it up. Wonderful volunteers again here. Oh, my God. What are these? Oh, I, I'm going to take one of these. Um, how much is this, by the way? Three for two. Okay. Give you the money later. Um, so <laughs> we have, I hope you remember to pay. Yeah, yeah, inshallah. You know, I'll send the money out. We also have CVS here today live. Um, they're doing free uh, flu shots as well as uh, vaccine. Um, so they're out here. You guys can come check it out. They're here until 6 p.m. today. Um, they also have some mints. Oh my, okay, sorry. Um, yeah, so, so we have CVS here, wonderful, as well as if you want to register to vote, you know, this is one of those voting years. You can come out here until 6 p.m. Come over here, vote. Yeah, and you heard that? You can pre Actually, let's have some words from our um, sister over here, what's your name? Shirley, I'm with the League of Women Voters, and we're here at the table. Introduce yourself, sir. Yes, my name is Ali Murtaza, and I'm also representing the League of Women Voters as well. Okay, all right. We're here to beg so, people to vote. We're here to find out who's not registered, right. to get them registered. Right. October the 9th is the last day that the mail-in registrations can be sent, gotcha. because they have to be dated the night of October the 9th. Gotcha. After that, Okay. Voter registration is complete. And you were saying something about 16, 16 17? 17, 17, 17, 17. 16, 16. And the voter election will have 
your application, when you turn 18, they will send you your card as to what district you be voting in and everything. So we want the young, as many young people, this is very important, because they'll be, whatever they're going to do is going to affect them for their voting. themselves, their children, and their grandchildren. All right. So we just heard from the voting booth. Now, as well as it's important to be counted, we have a booth here on the census. Uh, we have some volunteers here. Which, uh, Sister Shalisa, would you like to say so we're live on YouTube about the census here at the well, Mission? Our, our census here is very important right now for everybody to do their census. We bring out our volunteers while well, they are working um, to register as many of our, our congregation as possible. And it's very important for schools and hospitals Community centers, senior centers, uh, representatives in the in the, um, in the House of Representatives. What else, guys? Anything what else? Guys? What? You guys want to add to that? Uh, yeah, the census. Uh, we counting population. That's all. Okay. Uh, it's counting everybody's head in the population, regardless of your illegal, illegal. Um, everybody. If even some brand new baby, they get counted. Got gotcha. you. Okay, okay right. thank you guys Good very much. So, and oh, I'm uh, sorry. Very important. There's free COVID testing. You see the sign here. We have some brothers here. Would you guys like to say something? Well, pretty much, I know it's very important to get tested before the next day. All the time, make sure that we stay safe together. We can do this. So, getting tested is important, especially when going back to going back to work. We want to make sure you take proper steps to make sure we all stay together. That's all right. Thank you guys very much. So, there you guys have it. That's COVID testing, U.S. Census, registering to vote, CVS flu shot, and then the most important, again, the food as well. You know, if you guys are hungry, I'm hungry. I'm probably going to come back here in a few, have some people here buying some food, some volunteers again. They're, they're kind of, um, are you guys hungry? Yes. Okay, you guys, <laughs> there's food if you guys, I'm sure you guys know that. And we have some more people out here buying some food. We have some volunteers around. There's a lot of volunteers here just to show you a little bit of what they do behind the scenes, as well as our supporters, people buying food to help support the masjid here today. So that's that's as much as we have here live. Anything else, Safraz, you want to ask anyone? No, anything? this is good. I think um, we're getting to see some of the behind the scenes of what happens when you come to pick up your food, before you pick up your food. This is all the action that's happening behind the scenes. And today we get to see that. Normally you don't get to see that. Uh, like I said earlier, you know, Masjid as will become today your one-stop shop. You come out here and you pick up some dinner for your family. You donate. You help the organization out. And then you also can decide you can get your flu shot. If you haven't had your flu shot, you can get your flu shot. You want to help? You want some assistance taking the census? The census are very important for us to get counted. And yeah. as um, Mr. Shaliza mentioned, whether you're legal or or, or or not, you should be. You are counted in the census. So don't don't do not be afraid. Um, um, and just want to add one thing, testing. Surprise. Um, just I know you guys saw a lot of videos on the live. This is actually one of our properties next door here. Yeah, this is a good point. Let's right here. Look at it. And the other one is across the road over there. I think. Am I pointing? Yep. So these are the, the two that, that you guys are going to be helping us to uh, offset expenses and and plan for the future. So all of this, as well as the operation of our masjid. So just want to add that in there. Yeah, that's a good point. You know, and, and actually, Brother, Brother Nasib, it's a good point that you, good view that you're showing us right now because, you know, just imagine that you are some uh, a brother or sister and you're living in that red house right across the street or the yellow house to the left and you literally can walk just a few steps and get to the masjid. You know, this is the vision. This is the vision that we want. We want to be able to, you know, provide a space where Muslims can come and live around the masjid where, like I said earlier, wouldn't it be beautiful to hear the Adhan being called in the morning for Fajr. And we know that's like one of the most difficult times to, to, to wake up because you're, you're sleeping, you're in very deep sleep, and now you have to wake up and go perform your Salah. Well, the phone goes off, the alarm goes off, or you hear the Adhan on your phone. That's one thing. But to hear that the, the, the Mu'adhan is at the masjid, he's woken up before you, and he's gotten to the masjid, he's prepared for you at the masjid. Wouldn't that be wonderful to hear the Adhan live every morning and every every for every salah and in the evening you're having before you have your dinner or after you have your dinner you hear the adhan being called alhamdulillah these brothers and sisters living in this property they're able to experience that as brother i am said the masjid is now open for fajr and we're open for isha and inshallah starting from monday we'll be open for for maghrib 
Um, and for Juma, you're able to register online. Right now, just to get the latest numbers to give you guys, we're up to $14,660. Uh, just to let you know again, we do have a matching fund going on up to $500. If you donate $500 right now in the next 30 minutes, it will be doubled to $1,000. So your $1 of donation will automatically become $2. So just, just imagine, may Allah reward those brothers and sisters that's doing that matching foundation. How do you donate? Go to go.asriq.org slash fundraiser and you can donate there. You can also donate right from your phone. So you're, you may be on Liberty Avenue right now buying some groceries for the rest of the week. Well, forget about the forget about buying dinner. Don't buy dinner and grocery. Darbar, you can buy from tomorrow. But today, come to the masjid. Donate, donate to the masjid. Buy your dinner from the masjid. It's going to be some really wonderful food, really tasty food. So you can donate right on Liberty Avenue, right on Rockway Boulevard right now. You're standing there. Just pull out your phone and send a text message to the number 44321. Send the text message with the word Asadiq takeout to the number 44321. Make a donation right on your phone. While you're on your phone, go to go.asadiq.org slash fundraiser and make a donation. Um, this just in, we do have a special guest that is going to join us. Um, you know, he's very well known in the community and he's also going to be joining us, uh, over zoom using today's technology. And, um, uh, he has been a part of the masjid from, from the beginning as well, even though he may not be one of the founders of the organization, he has been a member of the community that has helped shape the community. Alhamdulillah, a lot of us benefit from him. To give you an example, myself, uh, Sheikh Rafiq was the uh, Imam who got my, my, myself and my Zawj married and then eventually became uh, the principal of uh, uh, for the school that my daughter went to. Went to. So uh, we have here with us Sheikh Rafiq. Uh, doesn't need very big introduction. Um, and he will be speaking to us for a few minutes, just giving us a little bit of... Uh, um, of his thoughts, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you, to Brother Safraz. Um, you've been doing an excellent uh, job for this fundraiser. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless and reward you and the team for this effort. Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam wa ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahabihi ajma'in. Ridwanullahi alayhi mila yawmiddin amma ba'd. My dear brothers and sisters, I am indeed uh, privileged to be with you here this afternoon uh, to endorse what is being done by Masjid al-Siddiq. Um, over the years, I have uh, watched um, this organization grow from strength to strength. Um, uh, as uh, Brother Safraz said, I've been there from since the beginning. And I want to start by asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless those pioneers, the ones who took the initiative and they established this uh, very um, beneficial organization to the community. You know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says in the Quran, And those foremost in faith, they will be foremost or closest to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the hereafter. They will be in Jannat, they will be in gardens beneath which rivers flow. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant those pioneers uh, the reward for taking this initiative and establishing this uh, uh, wonderful organization. Like I said, I have seen it grown from strength to strength. Um, uh, this organization, my dear brothers and my dear sisters, uh, the focus was not just to establish a masjid for the for prayers, but 
the focus was to take care of the needs of the community. And even though there is a place for prayer, beautiful place for prayer, we, we are seeing so many activities in, in regards to helping the community, outreach programs, um, education. There is a regular madrasa. The five daily prayers are being established. Um, you, you have uh, uh, social events. Uh, there are weekend programs for adults, for children, for the families, their sleepovers, their camps. Uh, it's, it's really putting everything together. What, I am, what I'm very happy about Masjid al-Siddiq is that they understand, the leaders understand that they will not be there forever. And so they, they are making sure that young people are being put in place so as to continue the work of the founders, to continue the work of the pioneers. It is one of the organizations where we see that youth, they are being given the opportunity to excel. They're being given the opportunity to perform. They're being given the opportunity to make a difference. And we know that young people, when they are put to task, they can really um, give you results. And this is what we are seeing from Masjid al-Siddiq. The, the leadership, they are always visible. They live in the community. And that's a, a, an important part of leadership, being visible at the masjid, not making special appearances, but they're always there. And that's so much uh, required by our leaders. Um, as Siddiq has, uh, the masjid has uh, invested in two other buildings for the future. You know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in the Quran, Kul i'malu fasayar Allahu amalakum wa rasuluhu wal mu'minun. Say, work, do righteous deeds, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will recognize your deeds, his Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and the believers. And we see that people from all walks of life, they they have recognized what has been done by Masjid al-Siddiq and what they continue to do. Um, they are building for the future and that's what is important. These two buildings, they, are to, they have uh, plans to make sure that what is needed for the community that it, they can provide through these two buildings that they have purchased. But of course, they purchase them, they have loans, they, they need to repay those loans. And Muslims are people, when they make promises, they keep to their promises. When they make a commitment, they need to fulfill their commitment. And their commitment is to make sure that they pay a certain amount by December. Today, Masjid al-Siddiq is looking to raise $25,000. Each one of us, we can make a difference. Support the fundraising that is being done today. Make a donation. You know, we are living in difficult times. We all understand that. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes us in the Quran, the muttaqun, the people of piety, the righteous people, as people who give under all circumstances. He says, those who spend in ease and in adversity. Whenever things are easy for them, they, they give. And whenever they are facing difficulties, they still find a way to give. So yes, indeed, we are living during difficult times. This pandemic has made situations very difficult and challenging for all of us. But we are described in the Quran as 
muttaqun. We are righteous, pious people. And those who are righteous and pious, one of their qualities is that they give whether whatever the circumstances may be. And let us always remember, it is not ours, it is Allah's wealth. And remember that whatever you give, you give for yourselves. And whatever you give from good, it is for your own selves. The masajid, its maintenance, whatever has to be done with it, it can only be done through the believers. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Innama ya'muru masajid Allah, man amana billah wal yawm al-akhir, wa aqama as-salah, wa ata al-zakah, wa lam yakhsha illa Allah. Verily, those who build and maintain, a Siddiq is asking you to help to maintain the mas masjid. Those who build and maintain the houses of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are the ones who believe in Allah. They believe in the final day. They establish prayers, they give charity, and they fear none except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So my dear brothers and my dear sisters, once again, I want to endorse the work being done by Masjid al-Siddiq for the community. They are preparing the next generation for a good future. They are preparing the next generation to take their rightful places in society. We need to support them as much as we can. Remember, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, you will never attain piety, righteousness, until and unless you spend out of that which you love best. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make this a successful event. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us so that all of us, with whatever we have been given by Allah, we make a difference in our communities. Jazakumullah khairan, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum salam. Thank you, uh, Sheikh Rafiq. Um, as Sheikh Rafiq mentioned, you know, um, the, the, the maintenance of the masjid is done by the Muslims, done by the believers. And alhamdulillah, you have been doing that. You, the, the Muslims, and you, the community, have been doing that. And that's why today we also appeal to you again to, to help us get to that next level. As Sheikh Rafiq mentioned that we are always thinking about, you know, in um, preparing our future generation, preparing the brothers and sisters, the young brothers and sisters to get to the point where they can eventually take the uh, proverbial baton and, and take the masjid and take the organization and take our community to the next level. Today, what we're noticing uh, you're not seeing it, but all of the technology that's being ran right now that's allowing us to do this live stream is being done by a bunch of brothers and sisters, young brothers and sisters. And they are also going to be the ones that are going to take this organization to the next level. And as I mentioned earlier, some of the brothers and sisters that the young Ahmed and the Isa and the Sarah that we talked about that you're not seeing, they are the ones that your donations are going to benefit. And alhamdulillah, right now I'm looking at our latest uh, fundraising amount. We're up to $15,250. So may Allah reward the brothers and sisters who have donated to bring us to this point. I'm just going to refresh my page to take a look at the campaign. We still have Sister Amira uh, with her, her campaign over $1,400. Sister Narisa over $1,100. Sister Naz over $800 and brother Nasib has moved up a little bit and he's have over $500 that he has raised for the masjid. May Allah reward the brothers and sisters who are driving these campaigns and also the brothers and sisters who have donated to the campaign. I mean, masjid, um, once again, I'd like to remind you that you can donate through various venues that we have uh, made available to you. 
one of the donation is to go to go.asadiq.org slash fundraiser. You can donate there. You can also place an order to pick up your food. We have curbside contactless pickup. So you place your order online, you drive up to the table and pick up your order. Another way of placing your order is by um, calling uh, the masjid, calling our number 718-523-4167. Uh, you may also donate right from your phone through a text message. Send a message to Asadiq Takeout to the number 44321. So you just open up your app, your text messaging app, put in the number 44321 and type in Asadiq Takeout, A-S-S-I-D-D-I-Q, Takeout, and you will be able to donate right there on your mobile device. Um, once again, I'd like to thank Sheikh Rafiq for spending some time um, enlightening us for a few minutes and also making an appeal to you, the community. Uh, Sheikh Rafiq also was a member of this community that helped uh, shape the community where it is. The Islamic school has taught many students who are now uh, professionals working in, uh, in, in the community and helping each other. And what's important is that these members of the community are not just working um, members of a professional company or organization, but they are individuals that have a very strong Islamic background because of organizations like the Masjid, like the Islamic school. So when you donate today, the brothers and sisters that may benefit from it are the ones that you're not going to see. And we know that when we donate today, that even though we may not see the benefit today, that as long as these organizations continue to impart knowledge and help people, that it will become Sadiqul Jariah for you, inshallah. Um, so right now we are uh, up to, like I said, uh, $15,250. Um, we have a goal of 25000 we have a target to pay back a um, interest-free loan at the end of the year, uh, December 31st. And if we would be able to make this target of 25,000, we will be able to pay back these loans. Um, you know, why are we doing this? Going back to the beginning. Why is it that the masjid decided to buy two properties? You know, what is the vision behind it? And one of the picture I like to paint of a possibility on top of showing you all the imagery that we've showed you earlier of the beautiful massages that, that is in right in Long Island, in Valley Stream and in Westbury and in, in Texas. But another one of the visions, if we had to paint a vision is, and this is speaking from personal experience was, I was looking for a place where I can teach my daughters and my wife how to swim, but there wasn't that facility there wasn't a facility that can allow them to go there and be in an environment that was an Islamic environment, that was a halal environment, that was safe for them. And it was very difficult for us to, to come, come up with a solution. So just look at this picture that a place where your sister, your wife, your mother can go and, and enjoy and be engaged in physical activity, such as swimming, that's in a Islamic environment that's in a place where she's surrounded by Muslim brothers and sisters, Muslim sisters, and not have to be worried. You know, imagine a place where when your child says to you, when your son or your daughter say to you, I'm going to go play some sports, you're not worried about where they're going or who, who are going to influence them because they're going to go to the community center, the masjid, the that's right across the street from them or right down the block from them. That is the vision we like to paint. That is what we need to think about when you're when you're donating today. Um, when you're donating today, not only think about I'm donating towards paying off these loans. Your intention shouldn't be just that. Your intention should be multiple. Your intention should be when I donate today, that not only are we going to pay off these loans, but these these buildings, these properties are going to benefit the individuals living in it. It's going to benefit the children that I haven't seen that hasn't even been born yet. It's going to benefit the community. It's going to benefit the neighbors. So when you are going, when you're making your intention as you're donating, remember that you can multiply your 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 reward in terms of what you you want your donation to go towards, in terms of what your intention is going to be. Um, and to donate, as I mentioned, you can go to go.asadiq.org slash fundraiser. 
you can donate right there. You can also purchase um, some pastries on there. And you, you can also, um, uh, you can view our live stream, which if you are, you're viewing it here right now, right on the website. If you would like to donate by phone, you can donate through text message. You can go to go that you can go to uh, send a text message to the number four four three two one. Send the word Asadiq takeout to the word four four three two one. Um, I would like to just pull up live on screen here if we can show on screen our current uh, Give Lively page that has our current donation, um, so we can kind of see what what where we're up to right now. Uh, maybe the brothers uh, or sisters can pull that up for us so we can see live what we're looking, where we at right now. So Alhamdulillah, we are up to $15,250 of 25,000. May Allah reward all the brothers and sisters that has helped raise this fund. And this is the amount of donors so far is 322 donors that have donated uh, that amount to get us to that amount. So may Allah reward them. Let's go down a little bit on that page. I'd like to show you, just highlight some of the items that we have here today. And by the way, a quick note here, the images that you're seeing here on these uh, items on the menu here, like the roast beef and the chicken dinner, uh, these, are actual, these are actual pictures that we have taken from our event. So if it looks good there, it looks better in real life, right? So these are some of the things that you can order right now. Um, it looks like we've sold out of the Yemeni chicken over rice. This is a great item, new item we've added. And, uh, you know, we all, we, we all are maybe familiar in typical New York going to the city and going to the cart and getting it there. Well, if it tastes great there, sitting out there for how long, you know, how many hours? Well, it's going to taste even better when it's fresh coming for the masjid. And Alhamdulillah, we can see that we, we've sold out on those. We have, these are homemade pine tart and salara and cheese rolls. Uh, beef patty. These are homemade and yeah, who doesn't love homemade food? We're sold out on those as well. Um, and so just very easily, you click an item, you add it to your cart, you check out and you'll give in the time frame of when you can come and pick up your food. It's as easy as that. Just go to go.asadiq.org slash fundraiser and place your order and come on and pick it up at the masjid curbside pickup. Um, so um, right now, uh, just, just doing a one final check here. We are still doing the matching fund. And uh, so if you want to, to donate, uh, your $500 will become $1,000. I think we may have hit our target there. Um, so we're up to 15,250. So Alhamdulillah, we have met that target. We're now gonna get an additional $500 on top of that. $15,250 that we're seeing on screen. So we're going to be matched at $500 and have an additional $500 there. Um, we, if you are not looking to donate and you're, um, you have dinner taken care of, that's okay. Come out to the masjid. We also have uh, people here to help you out with your census, to fill out your census. This counts a lot, helps the community, helps our representation. Uh, we are always the community that's underserved, inshallah, by you donating, by you coming to the masjid and getting help with your census, your, your voices will be heard. Uh, we also have help with, with um, if you are looking to register to vote. And a side note that we just figured out, we were just told by our uh, voting representative, is that if, if you are 16 or 17, you can register to vote. And when you become 18, they will send you the documentation that's needed for you to fill out your application to to vote. So even if you're a young person and you think you can't vote and you're only a year or two away from voting and you want you need to wait, you don't have to wait. You can register right now and they will send you the paperwork when you turn 18 to register to vote. Also, we're coming into this time of the year. We're coming into the, as we saw outside earlier and you're probably experiencing yourself it's getting a little chilly. The weather is changing. Uh, that means what? That means flu season is right around the corner. And with the COVID, it could complicate things. Well, don't worry, come to the masjid, bring your insurance card and you can get your flu shots for free. Additionally, I mentioned COVID. If you are worried or you would like to be tested because you came in contact with someone that may have had COVID, come to the masjid. We have a COVID testing center set up right there. It's also free. 
feel free to stop by. And maybe when you stop by, you can pick up some food. Um, um, as of this morning, when I first checked earlier in the day, we have um, we have um, we have raised uh, over at that point I forget the exact number, but we sold over four hundred and fifty food, um, and I think right now we're probably over five hundred food that we've sold so far. Um, so to go back a little bit to the beginning of our program. Um, Brother uh, Iqbal Sitar painted that vision for us. Um, they showed us what that future of the masjid will look like if we pay out these loans that we have that are, we, we wanna make sure we, we understand. These are interest-free loans. And these are loans that were, were given by you, the community. These are, these are your hard-earned money that allow the masjid to, to be able to attain these things. So to go back to that vision, what are we trying to accomplish? We have a vision of what we're trying to do, but we also have some examples in our real world of what has been accomplished. Um, maybe we can go back to some of those videos, some of those pictures, if we're able to show it on the screen right now. Some of the masajids that went through the struggle that we did, and they bought one property and another property and another property, and then they were able to provide this beautiful community, beautiful community center, beautiful masjid, for their for the Muslims in the community, so if we could pull up maybe some of those images that we had earlier, of uh, what we what sort of some of the vision visionaries that had vision just like us and where they are today. Um, this is uh, Masjid Hamza, one of the examples that we brought up from Valley Stream, you know, a couple of minutes from the masjid, uh, a little bit further down from the masjid, Islamic Center of Long Island in Westbury, similar vision. And then further down the line, we have the Valley Ranch in Irving, Texas, um, that also has a beautiful community built around the masjid. And this is sort of the vision that we have at Masjid as Sadiq. Um, so once again, if you'd like to donate, we have multiple venues. You can go to go.assadiq.org slash fundraiser. You can donate, order your meals there. Additionally, you can also go to uh, on your phone, send a, send a donation through text message by sending the word Asadiq Takeout, A S S I D D I Q, takeout to the number 44321. So we have multiple ways of you um, going and getting your donation. Sheikh Rafiq mentioned earlier about that the at, at the masjid, we always think about the future. We try to empower our youth. We try to be able to put people who are good at the things they do in the roles that would benefit them and benefit the organization and benefit you as the community. I just want to give a shout out that, uh, alhamdulillah, we have some brothers and sisters that came together and created the first uh, podcast. And you can find that podcast on uh, any platform that you're on. It's available in any platform. Apple Podcast, Google Podcast, uh, Anchor. Um, uh, uh, I'm forgetting a few of the other names, but almost any platform that you can think of, the Masjid's podcast will be on there. And the podcast will be um, a podcast that will give you an insight into the mind of a young Muslim growing up in the United States and their experience. And on that podcast, they will be speaking to guest speakers and within themselves, they'll be guest speakers and, and giving you their point of view, their perspective of, of events that's going on. Uh, for example, the first one out right now is about uh, talking a lot about the current day event, uh, such as COVID and how that's affecting them, how that's affecting the community, how is that affecting the masjid. Another note is the masjid is open for Fajr and Isha, and we will be open for Maghrib starting tomorrow. And for Juma, you can uh, register online by going to the masjid's website, asadiq.org, and register online for our Friday Salah. Um, just doing another check right now. Our sheet may not have been updated, but we're, we're about, we have 15,250 donated so far. And let's do a refresh. 
and we are still at that number here. We've, uh, I, 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 inshallah, I believe, I hope that we have collected a little bit more than that. I think we're gonna, with the blessings of Allah, we, we, we can meet our goal of 25,000. We have 75,000 to pay at the end of the year, interest-free loan. If you'd like to help out with these interest-free loans, go to visit go.assadiq.org slash fundraiser. And uh, you can donate there or you can donate through your phone by sending the, sending the word Asadiq takeout to the number 44321. Um, we went live a few minutes ago to uh, show you what we uh, um, have going on live on in the masjid right now, what's going on right now uh, on the street. We have brothers and sisters picking up their food. I don't know. Do you guys feel like we, we could do another one of those? Do, we, do you guys want to see another one of those live event? What's going on live on the ground right now? Uh, we can also show you some videos uh, of uh, our look back video of what we did, you know, the last 12 months. Maybe we can queue up that video to show you guys what's going, what we've done with your donation, what we've been able to accomplish with your donation. Um, I, I also mentioned that you can go to our website and mention that we have a podcast. We also have, we are able to meet you at any venue that you'd like to. If you're on Facebook, you can follow us on Facebook. If we are, if you're on uh, Instagram, we are also on Instagram. And if you're on Snapchat, we're also on Snapchat and we are also on Twitter. So if you'd like to find out about what the masjid has been up to, what we're doing, you can follow us on those, uh, on those social media platforms. Okay, so just getting a little refresh here, just to check where, what, where we are in terms of numbers. Uh, uh, our live event, we have about 10 more minutes. And um, to close it out, I would like to see if Brother Naseeb can maybe give us one more uh, you know, live view of what's going on on the ground there. Are we able to do that, Brother Naseeb? Can we see what's happening on the ground? Um, and then we'll come back and close out our program. We have only about 10 minutes left. But this is not the end of our, pro, our our donation. Don't be worried if you couldn't make it because you're out running errands or you're not at your desk or you're not at your computer, or you're not on your phone, you're not able to do it. Don't worry about it. The website will still be up. You can still make a donation. We will still, our goal still needs to be met even if it's not met today. We still need to meet that 25,000 uh, because we, our, our numbers just increased actually. We're now up to $15,650. Alhamdulillah, may Allah reward the brothers and sisters that donated. Uh, yeah, Brother Naseeb, do you think uh, we can go live again? Uh, let's see what's going on on the ground. Yeah, um, can you see me? There it is. Uh, Brother Naseeb is making his way outside. He's going to be on the ground. Um, hey, can you guys see me? I don't know if you guys, yeah, we could see, we could see your, your, your screen, the, um, it looks like the small version of your screen, but we can see it. Okay. All right. So I'm live out here again. Uh, let's take a look, see what's going on. Um, oh, by the way, Brother Naseeb, just an update I got here. Numbers just came in. We've sold over 750 meals. May Allah reward these brothers and sisters. All right. So we have uh, the brothers here doing some more cooking. Still people coming out, um, ordering food. We have some curbside pickup. We have the COVID test again, the census, voter registration, um, CVS, and then we have our food. So we still have all on Tuesday out here. We'll be here till 6 p.m. You guys can come out, get something to eat. Um, you can just show up here and order. We have a lot of good food, a lot of good. So Brother Naseeb is uh, walking around the building. So at some point his, his data may drop. So he's showing us outside right now. Some food here if you guys want. There's still food. Don't uh, hesitate. I'll take a nice little view here. You can take a look, see what's going on. See some, this is what you call real curbside pickup. This brother's backing up to the door. The mobby is going in the vehicle. We see the mobby going in the vehicle. The brother's handing them. He took the cash, he's putting the cash down into the box. So you don't have to worry about distancing. We have curbside pickup. 
a lot of good stuff. Let's go downstairs. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, let's see, see what's situation. going on downstairs. There's a lot of uh, probably still got some food there. You know, we're still doing this. Um, yeah. We're still doing, even though the live event is going to finish at four o'clock, we still have uh, your yeah. food pickup, food delivery still going on until six o'clock. And just um, uh, mind you, uh, we have a lot of volunteers here today. Um, you probably not see a lot of them as well because. Yeah, we have volunteers that come from, from, from the night before, weeks before, and even early in the morning uh, of the event. They're there after Fudger and they're preparing, um, getting things set up. So there's a lot of volunteers behind the scenes that you're not seeing. Also, if I just want to wave, say anything, final words. I just want to say thank you to everybody that donated and supported us today. It's been a tremendous amount of support. Alhamdulillah, we sold, I think, over right. 750 meals. Um, so it's been a really, really uh, successful thanks to all of you out there. And we really, really appreciate it. We pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala always, always bless and guide you and your family and uh, multiply your, your donations and grant you all the best of, I mean, of the uh, Jannah. Jonathan Ferdows. Jazakallah khair. Assalamu alaikum. Or Saudi, you want to say any final words? Jazakallah khair, brothers and sisters, for your donation, your assistance, in any way to Masjid City. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continue to bless you and your family. Jazakallah khair. Okay, we have Brother Salam there. So, as you can probably see, there's still a majority of the action. Brother Nassim, you got muted. You hit the mute button by mistake. So it looks like Brother Nasib muted himself uh, mistakenly here. Um, so he's making his way through the back of the masjid. This is the back entrance. Sometimes, um, yeah, I can hear you Hello? now. Yep. Oh, sorry. I was just saying that's pretty much it. You know, alhamdulillah, we still have the food going out. The volunteers are on. Hey, how about we do this one one last thing, uh, Brother Nasib? Um, so, like he mentioned, we have some of the um, volunteers in the basement, some in the front. Uh, um, we also have the volunteers that you're not seeing right now. Um, they are the ones actually running all the behind the scenes that that's you know, allowing us to go live and connect. Uh, so maybe Brother Nasib, uh, can you show us some of that team later on? Show us some of the team members who are part of this live event uh, that's doing all the technology stuff. Maybe we'll give a shout out to them and then we can come out, we can close out the program, inshallah. Definitely, uh, we can, We can. you want me to shout them out later? No, let's 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 go to them live. Let's take a look at them, see what they're, you um, know. What they're... Actually, uh, some of them are scattered. But inshallah, we, we okay. can, I think, um, yeah, they're pretty much, uh, they're moving around the place now, helping with the okay. live. So unfortunately, we won't be able to get them. But later, inshallah, we can we can probably, you know, give you guys a little insight on behind the yeah, scenes. Yeah, and, and, and keep following us on social media. Uh, keep following our, our website. We're going to be posting uh, the videos. We're going to post pictures of the event. So you'll get to see all the behind the scenes. Like we said, you know, this is a unique time. It's a unique experience for us because of COVID. And, you know, we're trying to bring the experience to you where in the past you weren't able to get that experience. So we're going to try to send you uh, update some of the videos and pictures that we've taken today so that you can be part of it. You can feel uh, as if you're here with us. And even though times of not COVID, you're usually not here. You're not able to come and see all the behind the scenes. And inshallah, that's what we're going get to get to do today. Um, let's go back. Uh, maybe we can go back to our um, page showing us our current donation account, uh, donation count, and make a final appeal to before we close out the program. And like I said, you see the brothers and sisters out here, we are still, we are still um, going to be, um, we're still preparing food, we're still getting dinners ready. So just because we're stopping the live event does not mean that we are done for the day. We still, we're up, we're here till six o'clock. So Place your order online, give us a call, come in person and pick up your food. Right now we're up to $15,650 of $25,000. If we don't meet that target today, inshallah, I think I have a feeling we'll meet our target. 
because I believe in our brothers and sisters. I believe in you. I believe in the community. And may Allah make it easy for you to, to, uh, to help the community, help, help donate that will uh, shape the future of the community and the organization. And I, I have a feeling that we're going to be able to hit that target because I believe in this community. And so come out, donate, pick up your food, get your flu shots, get your COVID testing, get help setting, getting uh, your census filled out, and even register to vote if you haven't registered to vote. And even if you're 16 or 17, you can still come out and register. When you're 18, they will send you the forms needed automatically for you to register and you don't have to go anywhere. So come to the masjid, pick up some food. Go, once again, visit our website at go.asadi.org slash fundraiser and you can donate or order your food there. You can also send a text message to the number 44321 with the word Asadiq takeout, that A-S-S-I-D-D-I-Q takeout to the number 44321. Yeah, so we're getting ready to close the program. And I would like to first, you know, thank Allah for allowing us to be able to live through a time like this, to experience this time and to still be healthy. And for those that are not healthy or not well, may Allah bring ease to them, whether it's the people that are living in our community, in our neighborhoods, or those that are around the globe that are punishing with illness or hardship, may Allah bring ease to them. May Allah also reward the brothers and sisters that have donated to this $15,000, over $15,000. May Allah reward them and grant them Jannah. And may Allah give them the best in this world and the best in the hereafter. And may Allah reward all the brothers and sisters that you're not seeing that take part in this event on the back end of it, in behind the scenes. The brothers and sisters that are the ones cutting up the onions and cooking the food and barbecuing the chicken and doing the roast beef. And the brothers and sisters that, that did, a, did as little as picking up a napkin from the floor. May Allah reward all of them. And may, once again, may Allah reward all of you. So in closing, I would like to thank you all for joining us today on our unique live event. It's something we haven't done before. And we thank, that you, thank you for having faith in us, for supporting us, and for being here with us today. Uh, so finally close, if you'd like to donate, our website will still be open. We still have to hit our target by the end of the year. You can go to go.asadiq.org slash fundraiser and make a donation. And even after our event is finished and we don't have the takeout dinner, you can still go to the website and donate. You can also donate by phone by going to sending a text message with the word Asadiq takeout to the number 44321. To finally close, we're doing a final refresh on the page. We are at 15000 $650. My name is Brother Safraz. I'd like to thank you all for watching and being with us today. And for those who support us, may Allah reward you all. And may we hit our target, target inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.